The legend of Bigfoot has captivated the imagination of many, spawning numerous stories, sightings, and investigations. In the dense, remote forests of Northern California, this elusive creature has been a source of mystery and fascination. This story weaves together various accounts from individuals who have experienced close encounters with Bigfoot, bringing to light their thrilling adventures and the indelible impact these encounters have had on their lives. The Encounter on Pitville Road It was a crisp autumn morning when Bobby Rich and his companions embarked on a journey deep into the wilderness of Northern California. Their destination was Pitville Road, a renowned hotspot for Bigfoot sightings. My excitement was palpable as I recounted my previous encounters with the legendary creature. Little did I know that this trip would add another unforgettable chapter to my story. As they drove deeper into the forest, the road became increasingly treacherous. The dense foliage closed in around them, and the sounds of civilization faded into the distance. I shared tales of my earlier sightings, including one near Bridge Creek, where I had a close encounter with a massive Bigfoot. The first time Bobby saw Bigfoot was in 1982, just a year after another significant sighting. He was a high school senior, standing in the back of a truck with his sister as they drove along a mountainous path overlooking Eagle Lake. The area was sparsely populated, with manzanita bushes and tall trees providing ample cover for any creatures lurking in the shadows. Suddenly my eyes caught something unusual. A water spout shot up from the ground, defying explanation. As we approached, I saw it, a massive figure, partially hidden behind a tree with wide, shocked eyes. The creature stood about 10 feet tall with a broad, muscular frame and jet black hair. Its face bore a striking resemblance to a gorilla, yet there was something distinctly human about its eyes. This sighting left an indelible mark on Bobby. He could never forget the sheer size and presence of the creature. It was a pivotal moment that fueled his determination to uncover more about these elusive beings. The Tree Stand Encounter A year prior to the Pitville Road sighting, Bobby had another hair-raising encounter. It was 1981 and he was hunting in a new area, rich with game trails and natural water sources. I had found a tree stand overlooking a clearing and decided it was the perfect spot for hunting deer. However, fate had other plans. As Bobby settled into the stand, a thorn embedded itself deep into his knuckle, causing excruciating pain. Despite the injury, he returned to the stand the following day, determined to make the most of his hunting trip. It was a quiet afternoon and my senses were heightened, alert to every sound. Out of nowhere, a deafening roar pierced the silence. It was unlike anything I had ever heard, a mix between a lion's roar and the terrifying growl of a T-Rex. Frozen in place, Bobby slowly turned to locate the source of the sound. His heart pounded as he realized the roar came from a massive figure, obscured by the trees. I knew there were two creatures in the vicinity. I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, and every instinct screamed at me to flee. As dusk approached, Bobby made a swift decision to leave the stand and head back to safety. The experience left him shaken, but even more curious about the mysterious inhabitants of the forest. Discovering Structures and Signs Bobby's encounters sparked a deeper interest in Bigfoot among his friends and family. Together, they began exploring the area more thoroughly, looking for signs of the creature's presence. It wasn't long before we started finding unusual structures, large teepee-like formations made from relocated logs and branches. These structures, often found on steep inclines or near water sources, seemed purpose-built for ambush or observation. The discovery of these formations added a new layer to their investigations, suggesting that Bigfoot might use them for hunting or as temporary shelters. One of the most intriguing discoveries was a makeshift fort atop a mountain near Bridge Creek. The fort was constructed from a large pine tree trunk, placed on a rock and supported by branches and bark. It had openings at both ends, providing cover and a vantage point. The structure's location, near a game trail and a water source, hinted at its purpose, an ambush spot for hunting. These findings led to more questions than answers. Were these structures built by Bigfoot? If so, what did they reveal about the creature's intelligence and behavior? The team continued their investigations, documenting each discovery and analyzing the possible uses of these structures. Bobby's encounters weren't limited to visual sightings. On multiple occasions, he experienced the eerie growls and roars that seemed to emanate from the depths of the forest. These vocalizations were powerful, 
vibrating through the air and sending chills down my spine. One such instance occurred during a hunting trip. Bobby and his companions were making their way through a dense manzanita thicket when they heard a series of guttural growls. The sound was so intense that it felt like the ground was shaking. Despite my fear, I continued forward, determined to uncover the source of the noise. The growls followed them, growing louder and more aggressive. At one point, Bobby was certain the creature was just a few yards away, hidden by the thick underbrush. I couldn't see it, but I could feel its presence, watching and waiting. These encounters with the unseen left Bobby and his friends with an overwhelming sense of awe and respect for the creatures that roamed the forest. The vocalizations were a stark reminder that they were not alone in the wilderness. The Family Connection Bobby wasn't the only one in his family to have encountered Bigfoot. His father and grandfather had their own stories to tell. In the early 1980s, while driving back from town, I had a sighting remarkably similar to Bobby's. The creature we saw was also buff-colored and about six feet tall, walking across the road before disappearing into the trees. These family sightings suggested a long-standing presence of Bigfoot in the area. The consistency of the sightings, spanning decades and involving multiple family members, reinforced the belief that a group of these creatures lived in the region. I lived nearby and also reported encounters, but, well, I was reluctant to share details. This reticence to speak about sightings was common among locals, many of whom feared ridicule or disbelief. However, the cumulative evidence from Bobby and his family painted a compelling picture of an enduring Bigfoot presence in Northern California. Modern technology meets ancient mystery. As technology advanced, so did the methods used to investigate Bigfoot sightings. Drones, trail cameras, and other modern tools became invaluable in documenting evidence and surveying vast areas of the forest. We utilized these technologies to gain new insights. Drones provided aerial views of the terrain, revealing potential hiding spots and travel routes. Trail cameras, strategically placed near sighting locations, captured images and videos of wildlife and sometimes unexplained figures. One notable discovery was a set of footprints leading to a nest-like structure made from pine boughs. The prints were deep and well-defined, suggesting a creature of significant weight. The nest, located on a high perch, offered a panoramic view of the surrounding area, making it an ideal lookout spot. These technological advancements brought new dimensions to the investigation, allowing for more comprehensive documentation and analysis. Yet, despite these tools, the elusive nature of Bigfoot remained a constant challenge. The future of Bigfoot research. Bobby's journey into the world of Bigfoot sightings is far from over. Each encounter, each discovery fuels his passion and determination to uncover the truth about these mysterious creatures. The search continues with plans to revisit key locations set up more cameras and engage with other researchers and enthusiasts. My story is a testament to the enduring allure of Bigfoot, a blend of myth, mystery, and the tantalizing possibility that something extraordinary exists in the wilderness. His experiences inspire others to look beyond the ordinary and explore the unknown, keeping the legend of Bigfoot alive for generations to come. Conclusion the dense forests of Northern California hold many secrets, and among them is the enduring mystery of Bigfoot. Through the eyes of Bobby Rich and his companions, we glimpse a world where the line between legend and reality blurs. Their encounters, filled with awe and wonder, remind us that the natural world is vast and full of surprises. As the search for Bigfoot continues, so does the hope that one day, the elusive creature will step out of the shadows and into the light, revealing itself to the world. We invite you to join us on this exciting journey by liking and subscribing to our channel. Click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest adventures and discoveries. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences about Bigfoot. Do you believe in him? Have you had any encounters? Share your stories and insights in the comments below and become a part of our growing community of Bigfoot enthusiasts. Together, we can uncover the truth behind the legend and continue exploring the mysteries of the wilderness.